Hi everyone, this is a walkthrough for Read the Room by Bill Murphy. I believe he's going to post this on February 9th, but if this appears on a different date, then don't hold me to that, I guess. But this is a consecutive pairs and killer Sudoku. So consecutive pairs, we have these white dots. Digits and cells separated by the white dots must be consecutive, so they have a difference of one. Uh, we could put 5 and 6 here, but we can't put 5, 7 because these have a difference of 2 instead of 1. Additionally, we have killer cages. The number in the top left corner, which kind of gets covered up by the blue, but um, it gives the sum of the digits in the cage. Digits in cages can't repeat in killer, but they couldn't anyway in this Sudoku because all of the killer cages are in a row or a column. So we have a little trick here. Um, all of these are three cell cages, and all of them have two white dots in them. So the digit in the middle is going to have to be the average of the cage. So this is six. I'll just use this as an example. Six in three cells is always one, two, three. Which digit has to go in the middle? Well, it has to be the two. And 2 is a third of 6. So 2 is the average of 1 and 3. It's the average of 1, 2, 3. 2 times 3 is 6. That's going to work for all of the cages. So if you're worried about trying to work out um, what these killer cages can be made up of, given that they're consecutive, that's the trick to figuring it out. Take the cage, divide it by 3. That's the middle digit. So that's three, that is six, that is eight, six, five, seven, and four. And that just gives us all of those digits. We also know what's consecutive with it. So four can be next to three and five, but we already have the three here. So this is five, three in this order. Three can be next to two and four, but we have a four here, so two, four. 6 can be next to 5 and 7. We don't know the order yet, but that's going to help us down here because 8 can be next to 7 and 9, and we know the 7 is in this cage, so 9, 7 in that order. Now the 6 can't be next to 7 here, so it's 7 here and 5 here. The 7 needs to be next to 6 and 8, so this is 8, 6 because of the 6. 4 can be next to 3 and 5. We don't know the order, but just like over here, the fact that we know there's a 3 here disambiguates the 6 cage up here. And then finally, we need 6, 4 in this order because of these digits. So that mostly resolves the cages. We have a few more consecutive pairs to deal with, so we will get to them eventually. So I can see we can't have 1 up here, so 1 of these is a 1. Don't know how helpful that is. Same thing with 9. Uh, this can't be 8, so we're also going to have an 8 somewhere in this column, which means there's an 8 in one of these cells. I feel like this is probably not the way to do this. Yeah, I, I need to look for naked singles. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all see this cell, so it is a 9. Um, this can't be 6, 7, or 8 still, so the only thing it can be in this box is 4. And then these are 6, 7, 8. This one can't be 6. Now we need 1, 3, and 5 here. This can't be 5. And it's on a white dot, which can't contain 4. So the only even digit, because this is odd, the only even digit we can use is 2, which can go next to either 1 or 3. So that's fine. Um, this, though, can't be 3 or 5, so it's 1. This is 3. This is 5. And we still need a 9, and these can't be 6. So, in fact, the only place for 6 in this column, because of this 6 and because of the 12 cage, is here. This is 7 or 8. If it's 7, it can't be next to 6 because of the row or the column. If it's 8, it could be next to 7 or 9. And then here we need 2, 6, and 9. 
Can't have six here, can't have nine here. Still need a one. Uh, we still need a four. So four has to go here. Uh, same thing with six here. We got six ruled out of all of these cells. This is a six. These are going to be from one, seven, and eight. So the nine is down here. Okay, we should be able to figure out. I mean, this is a pretty symmetrical puzzle, so we can kind of do the same thing that we did at the top. Um, this cell sees two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's one. Um, but another thing that we could do with this white dot, just to do things in a little bit different order, um, every white dot needs an even digit and an odd digit. Um, because they are consecutive and have a difference of one, the parity has to change. So if we have an odd digit in this cell, going one away from that odd digit gets us to an even digit. What even digit can go on this white dot? Well, it can't be two, four, or six, so it has to be eight. And eight can't go in this cell, so this is eight. And that means this is seven or nine. This is not eight. And then this is going to be 1 or 9. We don't know which yet. Um, we will be able to disambiguate this just like we did over here, though. So 2, 3, 4 is to look at this cell. We have all the remaining digits except for 6. And then these will be 2, 3, 4. This is not 4. Uh, here we have 5, 7, and 9, but we have 5 and 7 here. So 9, 7, 5. The 7 gives us 1 and 9. These are from 1 to 3. But this one's not 1, because we know the 1 is here. OK, this column, we have a 1, 2, 3 triple here. So this is our 4. And then this could be 1, 2, or 3 next to 2 and 3. We know there's a 2 here, though, so that's not 2. We know there's an 8 here, so that's not 8. So our 1, 4, and 8, so that's not... Neither of these are 4, so that's our 4. That's our 8, and that's our 1. And we can do the same thing down here. 6 in this box makes that a 9, 2, 6. Okay, that 2 gives us 3 here, which gives us 2 and 3. I don't know that's a 3. Uh, last digit here is a 9, so this is not 9. It gives us a 7, 8 pair, which means this is 5 and 7. Up here we need 5, 6, and 8. We have two 6s, so that is our 6. These are 5 and 8. That's going to result in our 7, 8 pair. You know, look that up. This box still needs a 1, which has to go there. So there are 2 and 9. The 1 gives us a 3 here, which gives us 5 and 3. These are 1 and 8. These are 2, 4, and 5. We have 4s, so 2, 5. Got a bunch of pairs left. So let's look at this cell. If this is 1, this would have to be 2. If it's 8, it can't be 7, so this would have to be 9. We're going to get something similar here. If this is 9, this has to be 8. If this is 2, it can't be 3, so this is 1. And we still need a 3 in this row somewhere. There's a 3 there, so this is our 3. We need a 7 in this row. That's 7s, so that's our 7. And these are going to be from 1, 2, and 9 in some order. And now I need to remember where this resolves. Oh, this is the only place for 1 in the column. I'm just, I just need to look at the columns. So this is the only place for 1. Uh, and we have a 9 here. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm just missing the resolution of these dots. <laughs> this can't be 1. That's an 8. 
that's a 9, that's a 2, that's an 8. The 8 here gives us 5 and 8. 5 and 2. Uh, the 2 here gives 1, 2, 9, 8, 9, and 1. Hopefully you followed off. <laughs> Not my smoothest solve ever, um, but I was missing digits in the column and making that harder than it needed to be. And I'm pretty sure I did the same thing when I test solved this, uh, weirdly. So anyway, I hope you found that okay.